What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Jessica and Reese show. If you are new, my name is Jess. Reese pops in sometimes. Maybe he'll be here a little bit later. You'll have to watch the whole video to find out. Today I'm going to be doing another recipe for more seasoning. If you guys don't know who Farnham is for more seasoning, what are you even doing with your life? Seriously, he is such a good cook. A lot of you might know him as Jacqueline Hill's boyfriend. That boy can throw down. I have made his Alfredo with that white truffle oil like 20 times. It's not my go-to fancy recipe, but I kind of throw some shrimp in there and I make it my own. And let me tell you, I was a little skeptical when I started watching this because I'm like, how good could these be? So good. So now I'm going to do his chicken recipe, his chicken sandwich recipe, and I'm super excited about it. One, because I'm starving, and two, because it looks fire. Before we get started, please smash that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload. For those of you that do not know, this is my second channel. I do have a main channel, and you guys, right now I'm cranking out five videos a week. Yes, I said five. Three for my main channel and two, I'm trying to do two over here. So I'm working really hard, smash all those buttons and help a girl out. So I will of course leave all the ingredients um, and Farnham's channel, or Jordan. I don't really know what he goes by. He says Farnham on YouTube, but they call him Jordan on, I don't know, whatever. Um, I will leave his channel in the description box down below. Go check him out. Super underrated channel in my opinion. And yeah, let's kick off the second recipe for more seasoning. And let's see if this one is just as fire. I'm gonna start marinating the meat and he marinated his with soy sauce, fish sauce, which I don't have. And I couldn't find last night in the store, but I do have oyster sauce. They're different, but whatever. We just gotta work with what we have. It's quarantine time. So some stuff I couldn't find. In there is Oh fuck, he has a lime? And lastly, your Okay, so he said some brown sugar and some other shit. We're gonna start assembling. See, I don't really pay attention. I was not, oh, I just love the way brown sugar smells. I love it. So I'm gonna dump some brown sugar in here. Uh, some soy sauce. He said like, what, three tablespoons? I don't know. Do what you feel is right. I never measure anything, so. He used fish sauce, I'm just gonna use oyster sauce, even though they're different. Um, I'm just gonna try it. How bad could it be? How bad could I possibly mess this up? I'll tell you in a minute, actually. Okay, and then rice vinegar. You know how long it took me to find rice vinegar in the store? Oh, you guys. I'm either a really bad shopper or they're out of a lot of stuff where I'm from. Okay. So you put some red chili flakes in there. Can't use too much because I'm gonna try to feed this to my kid. Probably gonna end up making her a pizza. And then mix all that together. Okay, we're gonna put our boneless, skinless chicken thighs in there. Okay. Okay. And after you wash your hands, come back in here. I'm just gonna make sure that the marinade is kind of all over these. I don't have a Ziploc bag. I ran out. It's quarantine time. Every time I don't have an ingredient that I need or something that I need to make this, I'm just gonna blame quarantine. It's not my fault, it's quarantine. Okay, start that. I just kind of have them all like, you know, soak in. And I'll set that to the side. Start working on the coleslaw. like the weirdest knife to open that with. Okay. Okay. What'd you put what'd you put on the, the stuff? Rice vinegar. So he added cilantro to his. Um, genetically I'm a freak and I think cilantro tastes like soap. So I'm not using cilantro. Put some rice vinegar in here. And he used sugar 
but I'm going to use honey. It's sticky, this was a mistake. That's why he was wearing a glove in his. Damn it. Let me just do a little taste test because that smells weird. Mm, okay, oh my God. Woo. Easy with the vinegar. Not a big deal, just add some more. Let's try it now. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that first bite was like, dang. Like I literally felt like I drank a whole thing of vinegar. Okay. Mm, that's actually really good. Now it's good. He also made spicy mayonnaise and I always keep sriracha on hand. Love that stuff, it's so fire. Um, I like spice though. Didn't mayonnaise come out with like a, a spicy mayonnaise once upon a time? I know I didn't just make that up. It was sriracha mayonnaise, I wanna say, but that's okay, we can make our own. So, dump some mayo in there. Dump some sriracha in there. Sriracha mayonnaise, that is fire too. So this hasn't really been sitting very long, which is a shame. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait about 30 to 45 minutes and then we're gonna come back and stick this on our grill pan. I don't have an outdoor grill right now because it's Chicago and it's freezing. So I'm just gonna put this on my grill pan over there in about 45 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna throw the chicken on my grill pan thingy. And I'm just gonna let that go and I'm gonna keep putting the marinade over the chicken as it starts to cook, as it's cooking. There we go. You know what I meant. Um, and then I'm gonna put the buns on there, but I'm gonna wait until the chicken is done because it's just kind of really hot right now. So I'm actually going to, once the chicken is done and I've actually turned the heat off of it because that thing gets super, super hot, then I'm gonna put these on there for a few minutes and toast them up real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna start assembling all of this. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the spicy mayo that we made, put that on the bun. I just toasted the, um, I toasted the buns in the oven. I didn't wanna put it on that grill pan since I am going inside. That shit was like hella smoky and hella greasy. It was covered in the, <laughs> in the, um, the marinade. Now, for the chicken. I did finish them in the oven, because it was getting super smoky in my house. Cut up a tomato. And now I wanna put that slaw over it. Do I need two tomatoes? I don't know, I probably need two tomatoes. Oh man, that looks so good. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? I'm gonna need like 20 of these though. Like, this is not gonna fill me out. This is like the tiniest sandwich ever. It's fine though, it's fine. Taste test. Oh my God. This is really good. You get like the, the bite and the crunch from the slaw and the tanginess of the meat. This is really fire. There's just enough heat with the sriracha mayo and the red chili flakes. Just enough of that seasoning coming through. You really taste like the freshness of the slot and the spiciness of the mayo and the tanginess of the chicken. Like This is really, really good, you guys. I would highly recommend this. Now I have to kick you out so I can eat 20 of these because this is really small. I look little, but I can eat. Oh my God. I don't want to share this with Reese when he gets home. Okay, y'all gotta go. I have to finish this. 
All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit the like button so that I know that you like these kinds of videos. And Farnham, thank you so much for another amazing recipe. I'll see you guys in my next one.